Hello, and welcome to a special edition of Law Power Hour. Today, we're having a special program because on the 23rd of September, that's uh, two weeks from Saturday, we're having a Law Community Assistance Legal Fair at Wings of Love Church. Wings of Love is located at 17133 John R. Street, Highland Park, Michigan. Reverend Alvin Jackson is a pastor who's graciously given us the opportunity to have the Community Legal Assistance Fair at his location September 23rd of this year. Now the program will go from 10 to 3 and it's open to the entire community. The reason why we're having this special program today is I want to explain to you some of the problems we've been dealing with. Throughout the past few years on Law Power Hour, we've discussed the need for people to interact with lawyers. And quite often, when we're off the air, I get telephone calls from people who've gone to various legal services, who've answered ads on TV for lawyers, who've read about recoveries for various types of diseases, whether it's from asbestos or drug-related. And they're calling and talking to services or people that they don't know. So what we decided at Keller and Avidenka and Law Power Hour was to put on a community assistance legal fair. We have three of them organized for September, October, November. The first one is September the 23rd. The second one is on October the 7th. And the third one is November the 11th. In weeks to come, I'm going to tell you about the locations of the other programs. But we're going to be talking about really, really important issues where you can get free legal counseling. The friend of the court will be there. You won't get arrested when you come down. There's going to be no law enforcement people there to arrest you if you come down to talk about expungement or you come down to talk about paying your water bill. Representatives of the treasurer's office will be there to help you deal with your tax issues on an individual basis. I've had the pleasure of having Eric Sabri on my show in the past, and he's been very generous in working with our listeners in dealing with their hardship issues. And for this reason, I invited his office to come down and participate with us in this program. Also, the Wayne County Friend of the Court is going to have representatives down there to help you deal with your issues with respect to child support, child custody, visitation, and back support. No one's going to arrest you if you come down. Someone's going to be there to help you. Now, since we're live, if you have questions, call in and we'll answer them today. First, we're going to talk about criminal expungement. For those of you who do not understand how criminal expungement works, let's just take a minute and say, what is criminal expungement? It's an opportunity for a person who's been convicted of a felony or a misdemeanor to have the record cleared. Now, why is that important? If you go out and you want to rent a property, if you want to get credit, if you want to buy a car on credit, if you want to get a mortgage to buy a home, or if you want to get a job, somebody's going to do a background check on you and if you've got marks on your record, if you have marks on your record, you will not have a good chance of getting credit, getting a job, getting financing for a car, or renting and getting special benefits when you rent if you need, for example, Section 8 housing. So if you have an expungement, you have an opportunity to get your record cleared. Here's how it goes. 
You've been convicted of a felony more than five years ago. The felony doesn't involve a sex crime. It doesn't involve a felonious assault charge where somebody was severely injured. After five years from the date of sentencing, if you're not on probation, it would be five years from the date the probation ended. But after five years, you can file a petition for expungement. You can get your record cleared. You can get back on your feet. We can't expunge driving offenses. For example, we can't expunge reckless driving. We cannot expunge driving under the influence of alcohol. But we can expunge a felony. If you have a drug charge, we can expunge that. These are all state court cases that can be expunged so you can get back on your feet. So that's the first major, first major area where we're going to have people there to help you, your friends, your family, your relatives who need expungement. What's it going to cost you? The legal services for the expungement are free. The cost is $50 to the state of Michigan that you have to spend to get your record in order and file your documents. The additional charge of $10 is for a background check through ICHAT, I-C-H-A-T. And if you come in to the expungement fair on September 23rd, 2017 at Wings of Love Church, 17133 John R. Street, Highland Park, with your iChat record, there will be attorneys there who will go over your record with you and be able to assist you and tell you whether you qualify for an expungement. We will have forms there or we will send you forms and assist you in filling out those forms so that you can get an expungement. So if there are any listeners out there today who want to get more information on the expungement, call in while the show is on, and we'll give you that information. Now I'm going to take a break for a minute. When I come back, we're going to talk about the next area of concentration at the Community Assistance Legal Fair for September the 23rd. Thank you. Are you in legal trouble? Are you in need of legal advice? Or just have general legal questions? Watch Law Power Hour and get your questions answered by experienced attorneys who are experts in their field. Know your rights. Watch Law Power Hour hosted by Barry Keller, attorney at law. Saturdays at 11 a.m. here on WHPR Detroit Live. got a back support issue and you're divorced and you haven't paid the support, you may owe the state of Michigan money, you may owe your ex-spouse money for your children, or she may owe you money. If you don't pay, you can get charged with a felony in the state of Michigan. If you come down to the Community Assistance Legal Fair, on September the 23rd, you can get assistance on child support. So you can make arrangements to pay child support. You can make arrangements to go onto a payment plan. People from the friend of the court will be there to tell you how to do it. 
so that you don't get arrested. If you get arrested and you get charged with failure to pay child support, you can lose your license. You can have your wages garnished. They can take your tax refunds. It can have a significant impact on every aspect of your daily life. And eventually, if you don't pay child support and you build up a large arrearage where you owe $2,500 or more and you haven't made any arrangements to pay it, you can be charged with a felony. It's a five-year felony. Rather than be charged with a felony, rather than face any of the consequences, rather than have somebody garnish your wages because you haven't met with a friend of the court, Come down, meet with representatives of the friend of the court or other attorneys who will be there, and they'll be able to tell you how much your child support should be. All you have to do is take the time to come down, bring your records for your last two months of employment to show what your earnings are, and they'll be able to give you a ballpark figure on how much you have to pay for child support. If you're in arrears, they will give you a road map. And I'm talking about a road map, a way that you can work out a payment plan on your arrearages to stay out of court. This is the cheapest legal program available in the state of Michigan because it's free. All you have to do is come to the Community Assistance Legal Fair, September 23rd, 2017, and we'll deal with the child support issues. Now, if you have a custody issue and you need some guidance, there will be people there who will be able to give you pointers on how to deal with child custody issues so that you don't have a tug of war and you're not always fighting as to when you're going to have your weekend and when your ex is going to have her weekend and how many overnights you're going to have and how many overnights she's going to have. Someone will be there to talk about all of these issues with you and to give you guidance on how you resolve all of these issues at the Community Assistance Legal Fair. So it's worth coming down. In addition to dealing with expungement, divorce, and child support, we're going to deal with workers' disability compensation. What does that term mean? It's a term that applies to individuals who've been hurt on the job. One of the most misunderstood sections of the law today is the Workers' Disability Compensation Act because individuals who were hurt do not understand how the law has changed in the last 20 years used to be if you got hurt and you couldn't work, they had to pay you benefits. Today, if you get hurt and you can't work, they'll try and prove, your employer will try and prove that there's another job for you to do. And you'll try and prove that you can't do that job. More likely than not, because of the Snyder administration in Lansing, you'll be forced to go back to work. Consequently, your chances of getting benefits are diminished by the fact that you're forced to go back to work. So what we'd like to do is sit down and we'll give you free guidance and counseling on these issues. There will be experts in each field that will be at the Community Assistance Legal Program. If someone loses a finger, they'll be able to tell them how much they can receive for losing a finger. If someone's hurt at work and they can't find a job, Someone will be there, an attorney will be there to explain the process to them about filing a petition for benefits and how long it takes to process a petition, what other avenues are available, what can be done during the time while your petition is pending to help you survive the crisis of being injured or disabled at work and not having any benefits. The same person who deals with workers' disability compensation issues will also deal with employment discrimination issues. Now, 
What are we talking about? Are you discriminated against because you got hurt at work? Well, that's a form of discrimination that has to do with discrimination against individuals who have physical or mental disabilities. And the American Disability Act protects those individuals. Are you discriminated against by your employer because you got hurt at work and got fired? There are laws. The Michigan Workers' Disability Compensation Act has special provisions for that. It says that an employer cannot retaliate against an employee who's hurt at work. So if you get hurt at work this month and you come in with job restrictions and your employer doesn't honor those job restrictions and you refuse to do, to do your job because you can't do it, your employer can't fire you. Otherwise, you can sue your employer. In addition to that, they'll deal with age discrimination. There's a protected age bracket. Over the age of 40 is in the protected age bracket. So just for the purposes of conversation, if you're in the protected age bracket between 40 and, let's say, 60, and you've been displaced You've been displaced because of your age at work by a younger person. Someone will be there who's qualified as a lawyer, employment discrimination, to explain to you what your rights are and how to process a claim through the Michigan Department of Civil Rights or through the Equal Opportunity Employment Commission. So if you have any questions in those areas, they'll explain to you what it is to be discriminated against. They will explain to you what your rights are and what your responsibilities are. If you attend one of these legal assistance fairs, you're going to get handouts in every area of the law, from criminal expungement to divorce to workers' compensation, employment discrimination, Social Security disability, retirement information, personal injury information, covering the full gamut of personal injury claims. We'll have forms in all of these areas. We'll have forms in probate. We will have forms on retirement so that you know what you can be doing for your future. Now, just to get back to the issue of employment discrimination, if you're discriminated against on the basis of race or sex, the attorneys will be able to explain to you how to prove a case, the difference between factually proving the case and having the belief that you were discriminated against. These are trained professionals who will be able to help you make intelligent decisions as to whether you should file a case against your employer for employment discrimination. Additionally, we'll have experts in Social Security disability. Those individuals will discuss the relationship between workers' compensation, employment discrimination, and Social Security disability. Now, why is that important? You can file a workers' compensation claim and employment discrimination claim at the same time, but if you file a Social Security disability claim, you're actually claiming that you're incapable of working. So there'll be an issue as to whether you're discriminated against or you're incapable of working because you're disabled. And if you're incapable of working because you're disabled due to Social Security, you may not be able to receive benefits. Now, this is a lot to digest at one time. But the idea is, if you show up for the legal program, if you show up for the Community Assistance Legal Fair on September the 23rd at Wings of Love, at 17133 John R. Street, Highland Park, Michigan, you will get free advice on how to deal with all of these issues. If you don't show up and you have a loved one who wants to come down and you want to get literature, there's going to be plenty of literature. There's going to be plenty of people there to give you individual attention. You don't have to bring a checkbook. You don't have to bring a credit card. All you have to do is bring yourself. If you need to go to iChat, though, for expungement, you're going to have to pay $10 to have your record checked. 
That's an absolute requirement. But if you come in and you've gone to the library or you've gone online and you spent the $10 with iChat and you bring your record in and it's current, and I mean current, that you got it the week before you came to the fair on the 23rd, we'll be able to help you in that area. Since I'm the on the air by myself, I'm going to take a break for a minute. We'll be right back. Are you in legal trouble? Are you in need of legal advice? Or just have general legal questions? Watch Law Power Hour and get your questions answered by experienced attorneys who are experts in their field. Know your rights. Watch Law Power Hour hosted by Barry Keller, attorney at law. Saturdays at 11 a.m. here on WHPR, Detroit Live. You know, many, many times we get people calling in with questions about slip and fall, automobile negligence, medical malpractice, and it's very difficult to answer all your questions on the air. So at the Community Assistance Legal Fair on the 23rd, and the second one that's going to be held on October the 7th at uh, River Rouge, on both programs, we're going to have experts there to explain to you how first and third party automobile claims work. Now, it's important for you to understand something. They're not there to sign you up. They're there to give you information. They're there to explain your rights to you. They're not there so that you call them the next day and say, I want you to represent me. You may have a lawyer, you may have a question about how you're being represented. You may have a lawyer and that lawyer sent you to a doctor you're not satisfied with the doctor and you don't know what to do. You may have a dispute with your insurance company because you don't understand why they stopped paying your benefits. Or you may not understand whether you're entitled to receive benefits at all. So there are going to be people there, people who are licensed lawyers. This is really important for you to understand. Licensed lawyers are going to be there, and they're going to talk to you. They're not going to charge you. They're going to give you assistance and explain the law to you. They're going to explain to you the difference between first-party benefits if you're involved in an accident and third-party benefits if you're involved in an accident. First party meaning a claim against your own insurance company if you're insured. Third party meaning a claim against the at-fault driver, the person who caused the accident. Each one of these aspects are going to be explained. What benefits you're entitled to receive from the date of the accident forward, how long you can receive those benefits. It's a policy of my firm to guide individuals if they have claims in this area and not charge fees unless there's a dispute with the insurance company. And we do not artificially manufacture disputes. We're not going to be the only lawyers there who can answer these questions. There's going to be a whole complement of lawyers there who handle these cases, who can answer these questions and explain to you your rights. For example, if you're involved in an accident and you can't work, you're entitled to receive wage loss for up to three years following the accident. If you're injured and you need somebody to take care of you, you're entitled to attendant care. That means that somebody needs to help bathe you, dress you, comb your hair, 
take you to the doctor, help you uh, manage your affairs on a daily basis. If you can't cook or clean at home, that's replacement services. And all of these aspects of the law and what your rights are will be explained to you. There will be forms there that will be mocked up forms. In other words, sample forms. Not only in this area of the law, but also in workers' compensation and Social Security disability, so you can become familiar with these forms. Even expungement forms, so you can become familiar with these forms and have a basic understanding of what the forms are about and what your rights are. Just think of the privilege of coming to a community assistance legal fair where you can pick up a form and you can go over and say to the attorney, can you explain this form to me? Can you explain to me what my rights are? Can you tell me whether I qualify for benefits? And can you tell me what I need to do to process a claim? Do you know how valuable that is when somebody can do that and there's no responsibility to write a check when you get done talking to the lawyer? There's no obligation. There's no fee. There'll be a whole group of lawyers there who can assist you in doing this. Remember what I said. If you want to go over any form that's there, someone will be able to help you and guide you and walk you through the form so you understand it. That's the whole purpose of the Community Assistance Legal Fair. It means we are going to assist you in every aspect that we can. It means that the Wayne County Treasurer's Office is going to assist you in every aspect that they can. It also means that the friend of the court's going to assist you in every aspect of your issues with the friend of the court. Now, that doesn't mean we can answer all of your questions, but it does mean that there's going to be somebody there who can go over the forms with you, who can explain your rights to you, and you can walk away with a comfortable feeling. So, if you get hurt, for example, when you slip and fall in a grocery store, I almost mentioned the grocery store, but I decided not to. And you want to know how to process a claim and whether you have a right to sue because you had a slip and fall. These are real tricky laws today, especially with winter coming and whether you can make a claim if you slip or fall on ice or snow or it's wet when you walk in the building. So there'll be lawyers there who can explain to you what your rights are and how to process a claim. If you need to file a claim, you'll know in advance whether you're wasting your time, you're wasting your money, or whether you have a legitimate, or we call it a viable, that means a claim that has life to it and can be processed. These are the important reasons for coming to a community assistance legal fair. I cannot overemphasize the benefit of a community assistance legal fair. I've been doing these fairs for in excess of 10 years. Before that, I put clinics on. And I can tell you when people come in and you embrace the people that come in and you give them the time to explain their problem and explain to them what their rights are, even though you may not have a claim, you feel much better when you're done talking with an attorney who gives you the time and gives you the explanation and gives you the assurance of whether you do have legal rights that have been violated. And that's the reason for participating in the legal affairs. Now, in the area of medical malpractice, there will be attorneys there who can explain to you what it is to make a claim for medical malpractice, 
what a notice of intent is. That's a pre-suit obligation on the part of the attorney to give the other side, that's a doctor or the hospital or the clinic, why you're making the claim for malpractice. Explain to you that there's a 182-day period in which there's a cooling off before you file a lawsuit. And then the affidavit of merit. And the affidavit of merit requires you to have an expert in the same field of medicine who's going to challenge the clinic, the doctor, or the hospital and challenge the way you were treated. And the issue will be whether there's a violation of the standard of practice as it relates to medical care. We have so many issues related to medicine, <coughs> excuse me, that it will require people who are familiar with medicine to explain to you what the procedure is. There will be qualified lawyers there in each one of these areas. And, you know, when you get talking about one area, you'd be surprised. You find out, well, maybe I don't have a claim for malpractice, but maybe I should file a claim for Social Security disability. Or maybe I don't have a claim for Social Security disability or malpractice. Maybe it's a workers' compensation claim. That's why you come to an assistance fair. And if it's determined that you do have a claim and you're disabled, you may need to talk to someone from the Wayne County, friend of the court, about not paying child support because you're disabled and there are provisions in the law that protect you or getting some assistance and paying your back taxes or water bill through the treasurer's office. So I cannot overemphasize the benefit of coming to one of these programs. One of the biggest areas that we're going to deal with is your driving record. If you come down and you've got a bad driving record and you want to be able to get back on the road and you have outstanding tickets, we will give you procedures and ways that you can utilize as tools to help get back on the road. But if you've got four drunk drivings, don't expect somebody to work miracles for you because it doesn't matter whether it's Barry Keller and he had four drunk drivings or it's one of my clients. The same rules apply. It's going to be very, very difficult to get back on the road. Setting that aside, if you have a bunch of traffic tickets and you want to pay them, we'll give you methods in which you can use to pay traffic tickets to deal with the new financial responsibility laws to get back on your feet. So I want you all to attend the Community Assistance Legal Fair, September 23rd, 2017, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Wings of Love Missionary Baptist Church, 17133 John R. Street, Highland Park, Michigan, 48203. It's 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We'll take a break and I'll be back and we're going to talk about some of the other areas that we're going to deal with at the Community Legal Assistance Affair. Thank you. Are you in legal trouble? Are you in need of legal advice? Or just have general legal questions? Watch Law Power Hour and get your questions answered by experienced attorneys who are experts in their field. Know your rights. Watch Law Power Hour hosted by Barry Keller, attorney at law. Saturdays at 11 a.m. here on WHPR, Detroit Live. You know, the Community Assistance Legal Fair is not going to have 
representatives from Keller and Evidenka only. There will be attorneys there from the Wayne County Legal Aid Society. There will be attorneys there from the Friend of the Court. There will be attorneys there from the Detroit Bar Association, the Wolverine Bar Association, and the Oakland County Bar Association. And we'll all be working together. And the goal is to give assistance to individuals who have problems. I mean, there isn't a week that goes by that someone doesn't call me and they have a problem in habitation. They're renting a house or an apartment and there's a problem with a leak in the ceiling. The furnace doesn't work. The water doesn't work. The plumbing doesn't work. There are no railings in the house. Cockroaches are in the house. And they need legal assistance. They want to break a lease. They don't want to pay their rent. And they don't want to get in trouble. So if you come to the Community Assistance Legal Fair, we'll give you procedures that are recognized by the courts under the law that give you rights and protect you. These will protect you against having claims made against you. What we're going to teach you is how to protect yourself if you want to break a lease. It doesn't mean that you don't pay your rent. It just means that you put it in a trust account, for example. It doesn't mean that you don't pay your rent and you just stay there until you get evicted. What it means is that you become, as we call it, proactive. You go to the health department, you go to the building department, and you make a record and make claims against your landlord if your residence isn't habitable. Now, most people are happy to have a roof over their head, let alone make claims. Well, habitability is a very important issue in this state because we don't want slumlords. We don't want people forcing individuals to live in squalor and slums. We want healthy environments so people don't get sick. We want healthy environments so children don't have lead poisoning. We want healthy environments so there aren't asbestos issues in residential properties. And the best way to handle this is to be proactive. Right now, my office is handling a case against an apartment complex in Oakland County because of mold, because of decay, broken plumbing. And all of these issues affect not only the parents that rent the units, but their children. Keeps them out of school, a lot of sick days, a lot of problems with their health, force them to go to the doctor, see allergists, and deal with these problems. So if you've got these kind of issues, come to the Community Assistance Legal Fair and get help in dealing with habitability. Now, I can assure you, now, I can assure you, and I'll say this without any reservation, there isn't an area of the law that has to do with the community's needs that will not be discussed at the legal fair. We do not discuss patent law. We do not discuss copyright law. But we cover every other area of the law possibly with the exception of back taxes that you may owe the federal government. We can tell you how to deal with your credit problems, your bankruptcy problems. We can tell you how to deal with your issues regarding Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, SSI. It's all there for you, the listening audience and your friends and your relatives by just showing up for the community legal fair. 
It'll be running from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Wings of Love Missionary Baptist Church. And I can assure you, if you do nothing more than come down and get the literature that's available and ask questions, and ask questions, maybe we'll have a question and answer room this time where you can just come in and ask questions and we'll moderate it and we'll be there to give you information. If you have any questions about the lawfare, write this number down, 248-335-9266 or call 1-800-LAW, that's L-A-W, USA-1. The station numbers are up if people want to call in and ask questions while we're still on the air for the next 10 to 15 minutes. We welcome your questions. But other than that, call 248-335-9266 or 1-800-LAW-USA-1. And if you can't make the fare and you want to receive any information regarding criminal expungement, workers' compensation, Social Security, employment discrimination, child support, or automobile claims, just call the office, leave us your address, your telephone number, and we'll gladly send out the information to you. But if you show up at the fair, someone will be there to assist you and filling out the forms. And one of the most rewarding experiences I remember about four years ago, there was a gentleman who came to one of our expungement fairs. He was 69 years old. It would be 29 years ago now, but it was 25 years ago. He said he had a conviction. And he wanted to clear his record because he was getting older. He lived in Ecorse, and he had to go all the way up to Grand Rapids. He got on the bus. Everything had been put together for him. No charge. Absolutely no charge, except the $10 for iChat and the $50 to the state of Michigan. His whole packet was together. He arrived in Grand Rapids. He went over to the circuit court. He waited for his case to be called. His case was called. He appeared in front of the judge without a lawyer. He explained to the judge that he had a possession of marijuana charge some 25 years before. And he wanted to get his record clear because he wanted to transition when it was time for him to go with a clean slate. About an hour after his hearing, about an hour after his hearing, he picked up the telephone and called the office. And he was excited. He said, my record was cleared. I'm all done. I have the paperwork. And he got on the bus and came home. A happy man. That's the value of coming to a community assistance legal fair. I could tell you other stories where the value exists, where we tell people who are totally disabled, who do not need lawyers, how to file their Social Security papers, and they get approved and they don't have to pay fees. In addition to that, we tell people who are injured in automobile accidents, who don't need lawyers, so they don't have to share a portion of their fee with the lawyers, how to fill out their forms and submit them. And if they have questions about their forms, they can either fax them in, mail them in, or come in with them and someone will review the forms at our office and give them the information. Not to have a new client, but just to help a fellow person go forward with their claim. These are the reasons for showing up to a community assistance legal fair. It's for information. It's for protection. 
The other day, when I went over to meet Pastor Alvin Jackson, who's a pastor at Missionary Baptist Church, he said, you can have somebody there to talk about wills and probate. He said, one of my members recently died. She had two homes. She left them to both children. The children didn't get along. One of the children got in an accident, didn't have insurance, driving the car. Somebody was injured. He lost the two houses that his mother had. His sister and he had to pay a judgment because the car was in their names. He said, you can have somebody there to talk about these probate issues and how to help people deal with these issues. And I said, Pastor, there will be somebody there to explain all of these issues, especially in the probate area. I have a probate expert in my office who will be there with forms to assist you. Power of attorney forms. Special needs forms. If you have a need because of a medical condition to have somebody supervise your activities, that's a medical power of attorney where somebody can make decisions for you if you can't make them. There'll be information there if you need a guardian or you need a conservator or you want to be the guardian or conservator for another person on the procedures to follow, information about wills and how to transfer property during your lifetime and protect that property so nobody can take it. So I encourage you. I know I've done a lot of talking today. I'm a little hoarse, so I apologize. But I encourage you to come down to the Community Assistance Legal Fair Saturday, September 23rd, 2017, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., Wings of Love Missionary Baptist Church, 17133 John R. Highland Park, Michigan. Reverend Alvin Jackson's pastor. Or call my office at 248-335-9266 for information about the program or forms. Thank you for listening. And have a great day. See you soon. Are you in legal trouble? Are you in need of legal advice? Or just have general legal questions? Watch Law Power Hour and get your questions answered by experienced attorneys who are experts in their field. Know your rights. Watch Law Power Hour hosted by Barry Keller, attorney at law. Saturdays at 11 a.m. here on WHPR, Detroit Live.